it's an incredible thing to be part of a study that will hopefully develop a vaccine that will prevent those people that I saw back on the wards getting sick in the first place. Hi, my name is Mahesh Ramasamy and I'm a consultant in infectious diseases and acute medicine and I'm one of the investigators on the Oxford vaccine trial. My role is to look at drug safety to make sure that the participants are safe, that we're delivering the trial safely across all the participants involved in the trial. So clinical trials can't just be done by anybody. They can only be run by people who have experience in running clinical trials, so universities or large drug companies. How they work is that the scientists come up with a question, does this drug work, is it effective? And they create something called a study protocol, which is a bit like a, a sort of roadmap of how a the clinical trial itself runs. Once you've got that, then you start recruiting people to a trial. So when you've got a new drug or a new vaccine, then you start off by doing a trial in a small group of healthy volunteers to see whether or not the drug is safe in these groups of people, and you follow them up very closely, monitor them carefully. If you know that it's safe in, these, in this small group of people, you then move on to using the drug in a large group of people, still within a clinical trial, but this time we're looking to see whether or not the drug is effective. And only once you can demonstrate that the drug is both safe and effective is it then fair to roll it out to the wider population. The only way we're going to know if a vaccine works to prevent coronavirus disease is to see if it works in a small group of people in a clinical trial. Only if we can see if it's effective and safe in a clinical trial will we be able to roll it out to the wider population. So that's why we need people to participate in these clinical trials because without the clinical trials we will never get our answer as to whether or not the vaccine works. The participants in our trial are monitored very closely indeed. So when they start the trial, they have a chance to meet an investigator, to talk about the trial, to make sure that it's the right thing for them to do to enrol on the trial. They have a series of blood tests and examinations to make sure that they are fit enough to take part in the trial. And then once they enrol and have the vaccine, they're followed up at regular intervals throughout the study to make sure that there are no side effects from the vaccine, that they haven't developed any other illnesses. So they are a very carefully scrutinised population of people and having talked to our participants on the trial, they feel well looked after. Well, I'm really enthusiastic about science, so I want everybody to take part in clinical trials. Um, but we're particularly keen to reach out to populations that are affected by COVID, so people who have severe disease or had increased risk of death from COVID. So we want to reach out to the elderly, to people with different health conditions such as heart disease or diabetes. And we also want to reach out to people of different ethnic backgrounds because we know that people of different, different ethnic backgrounds are at increased risk of severe disease. If you put into your search engine NHS vaccine trial registry, that will allow you to sign up to a database um, which will let you be contacted by any of the vaccine trials which are running in your local area. <laughs>